Hello guys, welcome back to another Gem Dragon Generations video. Today we are going to be playing Beast Farm Simulator. And as you read from the title, we are going to be, this is going to be tips on how to level up your bees. To level up your bees, you can fight monsters that, that are high level. Now, I've been grinding a bit. I, I did buy another mythic egg. I got a vector bee, even though I want fuzzy. And I am trying to level up my vicious bee. I am using the tips from this video. I'm going to be using the tips from this video to help. So number one is sprout hunting. You can server hop or just wait out and no, until there's a sprout. Or you can plant one yourself and get some treats and stuff. Want to make it go quicker, but you will have to use a magic bean. You can also get the aphids, kill aphids, which are pretty rare for those as well. Now about aphids, they will not be in this video because aphids give give uh, like booster things like magic beans now if you are gonna plant the sprout i'd recommend planting in the highest tier field you can like i plant mine usually in the pepper patch unless i'm using this down here then it's just gonna be random so if three hours before i can do that again so yeah, I'd also really recommend those moon sprouts. Cause those moon charms, um, they give 250 bond each. I bet you know that already, but if you didn't, there you go. So yeah, definitely hunt down sprouts. That's probably like, probably the best way to level up your bees. Second way to get a lot of treats to level up your bees is monsters. You're gonna go ahead to all this, these fields. Oh, polar bear strawberry scooters. Yeah, see, I got four strawberries. See, this is a, also a really good way. And this right here, this is another way right now. Sparkles. So sparkles can come from fireflies. Or just from these kind of things with faces. Another one right there. We're getting through this so fast. They're your cub buddy. If you have a cub buddy, that will definitely also help you a lot. Yeah, I'm just going around taking down all these monsters real quick. And I'm trying to level up my vicious bee to level 10. And I'm going to see what kind of things I have. Okay, not much. I have been saving up these star jellies, by the way. Gosh, a lot of star jellies. Got one pineapple See, Sometimes you won't get much. Whoa. Okay, also, this is a really rare drop. I'm not sure if it's really rare, but it's a rare drop from the mantis. Sometimes you're going to get one hundred pineapples from the mantis yeah that that's 2500 bond right there that's good from one mantis and if you get lucky enough you can get it from like all the three mantises so yeah, definitely do some monster hunting. It's definitely a good way. Um, but while we're doing this, oh, see, and one right here. So another way to get a lot is from the field itself slash leaves. I don't know what's really the difference between them, but yeah. This can also get you some treats. Okay, I'm gonna kill all these monsters. 
Another way is bosses. Now, this should have necessarily been in the list, but didn't really add it. Aha, Sprout! I'm just here for these monsters to take, to take like another blueberry. <laughs> yeah, so bosses, bosses usually like they don't give you like I don't think much. They don't give you many things or treats. Well, they give you a lot, but just like. They really just give you boost things, sort of. Just things that can boost yourself. We're just speeding through this, aren't we? Um, the next way is these dispensers. Now, I think you do have to join the group. Um, this one should also be pretty easy. Now, that one doesn't give you treats. Yeah, but all you need to do is go ahead and join that group. Just complete the verification. Zero Block says this verification thing to prove that you're not a bot or not. Yeah, see, I got 78 treats. Oh, and memory match. These memory matches are also a good way. I don't care about these. Ah. Yeah, we got one more jelly, but those are also a good way. I think there's a blueberry dispenser in here. Yes. Nine blueberries. Another good way is quests, but... Um, the only real good way of getting them from quests is the polar bear quest, because he usually gives you a few treats. Speaking of, we should go turn that in. And he gives you polar power, so your beast can stay on the field longer, which is also really helpful. If you have like 100 of these, your bees are going to stay out in the field for a lot longer. Here's passing. Blah, yep, 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 see, 10 treats. I think it scales on how good. I just despe defeated one spider and a werewolf. Are you kidding? Well, we can do the pollen right now. That should be pretty easy. Now, the main way I like to level up my bees is to hopefully get lucky and maybe find an aphid or some, or try to find something that can, I basically try to defeat mobs to get, and try to get magic beans from them and then I plant them in the pepper patch and then destroy the sprout get tons of things and yeah yeah that's kind of how i like to do it i did buy the jumbo june pack that's why i got another mythic egg i can't buy another mythic egg right now but like there could be another pack coming out there's probably gonna be another pack coming out soon, so like, uh, I kind of want to save up for that, because it probably includes a mythic egg too, uh, 2.5 million honey, like, you can destroy a vicious bee and get that, so yeah, that's why aphids are actually, are actually good for leveling up your bees. They like, I think like always drop a magic bean. So like you can go put that in somewhere. And just probably your highest tier field you can do, I'd recommend. 
we just dominated this bro. We can get a few treats from this. My cub buddy gives me five treats. And this sprout gives me a lot more. My blueberry. My treat. I'm not being selfish. Wanna know why? Because this person didn't even do anything on this sprout. I took down this sprout solo. Yeah, see, I got 13 treats, one blueberry. I think I actually got a lot more than one blueberry. Which is a big gap between. Yeah. Huh, 72 million honey. Yeah, I haven't really been grinding today, so. Not gonna really have made much. Wait, did I even actually collect the strawberries? Yes, I did. I did collect the strawberries. Um, let's see, what else is there? The Mondo Chick. Now, the Mondo Chick, I think, usually get... It doesn't... It gives you a lot of treats, and usually gives you one or two magic beans, I think. Which can help. Yeah, but he's only at 40,000 health. Let's take him down. I think there's only like one or two more ways after that. Or tips. Oh. Aha. The mythic meteor shower. That's also another way. It can give you, I think that gives you a lot of treats. I'm not sure. I mean, I've summoned a few, but like, I can't remember. Yeah, this guy can give you some treats and stuff. Another way is the ant challenge. Um, like, I did the ant challenge two times today. Ooh, festive gifts. Festive gifts are also a really good way. Yeah, but like, these last two times, I got... I did the ant challenge two times today, and I got like 20 blueberries from each, which is really good. So... And the last way, I remember, I was gonna say the stick bug challenge, but then I remembered the Mondo Chick. Oh, scary, see? Got some treats. It also gives you a ton of honey. And when I say ton, I mean a ton. Like, when you first get to the mountaintop field, um, yeah, you better want to get this Mondo chick. Because, look, I'm getting millions. Quick. I barely even did anything because I just waited. Aha, it's nighttime. Maybe I'll get a moon sprout. Yeah, but look how good this is. I mean, a mythic meteor shower is way better. Like, it's it. Like, a mythic meteor shower. I got like 35 million today when I summoned it. It's just crazy. Dude, 3.5 million. That's really good. Um, I don't think we got a magic bean though, but look, we got 25 treats and stuff. 20 bitter berries to help with mutating these, which would be helpful. Got all this stuff. Hopefully a moon sprout will appear. Yeah, but I think, um, I think a stick bug challenge won't be too long. So we'll just wait out this night and see if we can get a moon sprout. Let's yeah, see if we can get a moon sprout. We could just plant one ourselves. No. Go just, we'll just go to the strawberry and summon one. I mean, we could get an aphid. Yes! We got a moon sprout. Leaves and we can fight our ladybugs. Ooh, and we got a field dice. I've gotten like red extracts from ladybugs, which is really good. And got Mondo Chick Blessing, so um yeah, ten percent pollen. Um, let's place our sprinklers. Do this. We don't 
actually just destroy this field so I can't even collect pollen from it ever again. At least until it goes back. So yeah, we're also gonna we're gonna do the stick book challenge and wrap this up. I hope this was helpful to you. Um no, um, I just came up with this idea. I did, I, some of these I came up as I went with the video. So, yeah, this was also very useful for me. I'm definitely going to take these tips and use them to get my vicious speed to level 10 for the final Mother Bear quest, the final one! It's so sad! So sad. Let's see, but as you can see here, moon charms everywhere. Moon charms. Then we get a lot of treats. Not gonna lie. Well, actually, like, I'm not gonna get more moon charms than treats. Like I'm telling you, it gives you a lot of moon charms. I feel like it'd be even better in the better fields. I don't know why I did it in the pepper patch. How many did I get? 13 moon charms. Last time I got like 14. So yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Um, well not yet. I'm not gonna feed him to my vicious beat just yet. I'm gonna do the stick bug challenge, do the ant bug challenge one time. Um, but let's do the stick bug challenge to end the video. Yes, yes. Um, sunflower. First stages are always really easy. It's just never the fourth stage I can beat when I'm alone. I've only gotten the amulet once. And that was because I had really good people. But see what I mean? Look. Plus the sniffnips, those also give you a lot of things. Um, Cloverfield. I'm just gonna go to the camp. Gliding down. She hasn't even been a minute. And he's already to level 2. And now he's gonna be a little bit harder. Yeah, but leaves and stuff aren't common. I mean, aren't rare. They're very common. Yeah, see, sometimes a stick bug will do this. You need to collect it on, on kind of where he makes the outline. I'm 
thumbnail for this video, so you already know, but earlier today, um, I actually, uh, now, I didn't know, I don't know, like, you probably didn't know this, uh, unless, like, I, I told the person my channel name, so, if you're watching, you're, that's the person in the thumbnail who helped me with the legendary sprout, shout out to them if they're watching this. like 
a couple weeks actually. Um, but like, but at that point, I wasn't really trying to feed him. So, I mean, now that I'm gonna try to feed him everything, he look, he's going up a lot faster. So yeah, this is help you. Probably just gonna try to pull up my vicious beat. 